Showtime! Ooh. How's it y'all? Kid Showtime here and this is uh, another episode of Drinks by Showtime and right here as you can tell, bam! Another Showtime creation. And this time we got the Rick Flair drip shot y'all. So here it is y'all. This is my take on a kamikaze and just uh, hyped it up a bit. You know what I mean? They don't call me the hype beast bartender for no reason so I have to hit it with it, you know? And uh, I think it came out uh, great. I mean, how can you go wrong with glitter in the shots? I mean, look at that. Look, look how that blings, you know. And, it, and nothing like the bling describes Ric Flair, legendary Ric Flair, one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. And if, if you know about me, um, you know that I'm heavily influenced by wrestling. You know, I've done wrestling in my past. And, uh, you know, I'm still a wrestling fan to this day, so you might see more drinks inspired by wrestling. Of course, you know, I'm, I'm planning on that Terramana drink that's going to come up soon, so stay tuned for that. You know, of course, influenced by The Rock, you know, my favorite wrestler. Um, but Ric Flair is definitely, um, you know, my top three, you know, and I wouldn't argue if he's your number one wrestler because, I mean, it's Ric Flair, but growing up, I was always an Ultimate Warrior fan, you know, that's what made me love wrestling, made me want to do wrestling, made me actually start working out was to, to be like that, so I wanted to look like him, and, you know, as you can tell, it, you know, by the neon colors, I'm, I'm heavily influenced by the Ultimate War, and then, of course, right here by the jacket, you know, I'm heavily influenced by Ric Flair as well, you know, his promos and just, you know, Man, he had it all, man. The swagger, his wrestling skills. I mean, the guy could go for an hour, you know, and you're like, well, I could do cardio for an hour. I can run for an hour. I can bike for an hour. But, I mean, there's nothing like uh, ring cardio. It's a whole new world. I mean, uh, unbelievable. It's, it, it's totally something different, you know. It's a lot of stop and go. You know, it's almost like you're in a hit, but also you're taking a physical beating for an hour, you know. So, I don't care how much weights you can lift. I don't care how far you can run and how long you can run. It's a whole new ball game. And that guy could go for an, over an hour. And if you knew his lifestyle, I mean... You could check out the ESPN 30 for 30. He talked about it. I mean, he drank over 10 beers a day, over five mixed drinks a day, usually uh, martinis or, you know, of course, kamikaze, his drinks. But he did it every day for 20 years on the road, too, you know? I mean, that's amazing. I mean, even just trying to do it for a week is just a pain in the ass, you know? But, you know, that's what made Ric Flair legendary. I mean, he was, and you know what? He honestly wasn't the greatest drinker of all wrestling. I mean, you got to give it to the man, Andre the Giant. So, I mean,. But still, to, to keep up with Ric Flair's lifestyle and then his in-ring work, I mean, you know, the guy worked hard, he partied hard. So, I mean, you can't blame him for being flashy and talking about it. I mean, that's one of the best things that made Ric Flair Ric Flair. And, you know, while we love him, and to this day, you know, like, rappers love the guy. I mean, you know, I mean, Bad Bunny used him in his, uh, for his uh, song. Um, he was in his video, too. I mean, of course, um, the offset, you know, the Ric Flair drip. I mean, he, you know, Ric Flair in the video, inspired by Ric Flair. And then, of course, you know, you go to Pusha T., where he used Ric Flair's, one of, I think one of Ric Flair's greatest promos of all time, the Slick Rick promo, um, he used it for his intro for a song. I mean, I, I, <laughs> I mean, damn, I mean, you know, spent more money on spilt liquor from one bar to another. You, it, it don't get better than that. I mean, that's just classic. I mean, just his, his outfit, too, it's just, you know, it screams 80s, but it screams like, you know, like how I, will, how I would want to look like as the man back in the 80s, you know what I mean? So... Ah oh, man, you know, I was, I was very excited when I came up with this idea and I was like, I can't wait to make the video of it. I'm going to throw in some Ric Flair promos or some of it in there. So, you know, this is going to be a longer video. I mean, all my videos are pretty long for a drink, but, you know, this, this is going to be a lot of wrestling in this, y'all. And, you know, I'm going to show you how to make this. I mean, you can't tell me this doesn't look cool. And uh, so check it out, y'all. So I'm going to hit you with the ingredients, hit you with the intro, and then we're going to make this drink, y'all. All right. Woo! All right, so first ingredient, some vodka. Some triple sec, some peach schnapps, some lime juice, and then some uh, cocktail glitter. All right, shall I hit my intro and uh, let's I'm make this. Got the hairy frog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we got those ingredients out the way. Grab your ice. I got some ice in the shaker right here. Right. I don't know if y'all can see that, but hopefully. <laughs> but just, just know that there's ice in there. All right. So now we're gonna hit it with that vodka. It's about to do uh, about an ounce. Right. Then we're gonna hit it with that triple sec. This is gonna be under an ounce. And then we're going to hit it with some uh, peach schnapps, about an ounce of it. All right. Then time to add the, uh, the lime juice. Just going to use a little bit under this bottle cap right here. So probably like a quarter of an ounce, you know. 
Bam, got that there. All right. So now, time to add, time to make that Ric Flair drip, and that's with this uh, this glitter, y'all. I mean, this thing is it's an edible glitter. It's meant for beverages, so it's uh, perfectly safe to drink. All right. So what we're gonna do is uh, I'm about to add about a whole spoonful of it. There we go. This might be a little bit too much, but bam. At least we're gonna have a lot of glitter in it. And it's gonna it's gonna shine real good right when we mix it up. Especially when, especially when you're using the glitter, it's better to use more than less. I've done that in the past where I used less, used less, and it's just eh, it didn't look that good, you know. But if you use more, I mean, you used up more, but it's, it's gonna shine good, you know. I mean, it gets to a certain level where it's not gonna shine so so much if you do like the whole thing in there. So I mean, don't, don't get too too wild with it. But I mean, if you do a little bit too much of the glitter, don't worry about it. It's, it's gonna turn out real good. So bam, I put that on. Line up my uh, shot glasses. You know, I always like to do three of them. But I mean, for what, how, whatever you're making, I mean, you know, use the right uh, amount, right pour for the your size of shot glass. You know, whether you have a, a one ounce or a two ounce or three ounce, you know, the list goes on. So, all right, so let's shake this up. Oh yeah, you can already see, you can see that red glitter right there. You know, I'll get a zoom in on it in a bit. But before we do the pour, you know what we gotta do. We gotta hit you with that Ric Flair drip of my own. Back <laughs> you know, you know I can't do the Ric Flair drip without the boa, so you know, here we go. So just gonna give it a little bit more of a shake. I'm gonna to get to go, but damn, let's pour this out. I'm gonna start with the middle. Dang, look at that. Man. If y'all can see this, like it looks cool. Even just pouring it looks cool. As you can see, you can see how that glitter spinning. I didn't even stir yet. It's better when you stir it. You're going to see it a whole lot more. So let's do the next one. All right, spilling a little bit, y'all. Remember one of Ric Flair's best promos, you know? Spent more liquor from one bar to another. More sp spilled liquor from one bar. Fucking A. Oh yeah, check it out, y'all. The Ric Flair drip shot. Man, this is, looks so good, you know, and all its glistening glory right now. Right now, it stops spinning. You know, it doesn't spin too long, but, I mean, it still has a shine to it, you know, as y'all can see right here. Um, and, man, this looks so good, you know, and just that little added of peach just adds so much to it. So, you know, since I made that, that intro very long, you know, longer than uh, usual, I should say, I'm going to make this outro quicker, you know. Of course, I'm going to talk about, you know, my other videos coming up as well as, you know, the I'm going to have the regular uh, Ric Flair shot, the Kamikaze, you know, what he was known to order. I'm going to have that as well. But uh, before we go, you know, just to show you that, you know, you know, it's safe to drink this, you know, don't get wrong, just because it's uh, it's glitter, this is the edible glitter, so make sure you get the right brand, and make sure it's non-toxic and it's edible glitter. I bought in the past before, I bought, um, it, it said it was edible glitter, you know, and it went on top, of, you know, it was mostly meant to go on top of cakes and cupcakes and stuff like that, on top of the frosting. But then when I read it more, it was toxic and you're not supposed to eat it, so I don't know why I said edible, but, you know, I messed with the Snowy River brand, I've had their products before, um, I've made a drink, you know, the the Heartbreak 2020, my first YouTube uh, video of uh, drinks by Showtime. So, I mean, you know, I trust that brand and uh, I had no problems with it. So, you know, Snowy River is the one I go with. I mean, there's, there's other brands available and you can always find them on Amazon and this and that. But just to prove it, you know, I'm not going to pull a Ric Flair and do it uh, behind the shoulder. I'm actually going to, I'm going to take this shot right now. But uh, I'm going to stir it before I take it just so I can have the, uh, the little glisten to it, you know. So, man, here it is. Yeah, check that out. They glow it, boom. Oh yeah. That peach makes such a difference to it, you know what I mean? I mean the glitter has no flavor. Um the only bad thing is the one I bought I looked at it and it said uh it was like beets, beets juice, purple carrot. I mean I don't mind the purple carrot, you know. But the I'm not a fan of beets, you know, especially red beets. I mean, they're all red, I guess, but still, I'm not a fan of beets in general. So, you know, I kind of that back taste, you know, the back of my mind. I know it doesn't taste like it, but, I mean, if anybody else tastes beet flavor, too, let me know. I made other stuff with this, this, uh, this, uh, what do you call it, this glitter before. So, I mean, maybe it's just mentally in my head, but, you know, let me know. But, uh, I think it's good stuff, so, you know... You know, I got more videos coming. Like I said, the regular Ric Flair drop, the comma I mean, the regular Ric Flair shot, the Kamikaze shot. I got, you know, I have that video uploaded as well, as well as uh, more of my creations, you know. 
um, more drink videos. So subscribe, comment, like, of course. And until uh, next time, y'all, take care. Whoa! <laughs>